Okay, this is 2017 mass KCSE question number 21. Uh, we have uh, three quant quantities x, y, and z are such that x varies directly as the square root of y and inversely as the fourth root of z. When x is equal to 64, y is equal to 16, and z is equal to 20, 625, determine the equation connecting x, y, and z. So for us to get that equation, we need first of all to write this statement in a formula that is uh, x varies directly as the square root of y. So we start with x varies directly as the square root of y and inversely means uh, divide by the fourth root of z. Uh, with that now, we connect. We have connected y, x, and uh, x, y, and z. We use these values to determine the equation. So we say, when x is 64 is equals to. Now, before we go to that, we need to write x is equals to k, the square root of y divide by the fourth root of z. Then we say when x is equal to 64, it is equal to k, the square root of 16, divide by the fourth root of 625. Now, this means that uh, 64 is equal to the square root of 16 is 4, so we have 4k divided by the uh, the fourth root of 625 is 5. That is, if you multiply 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 4 times, you get 625. Now, we will be able to get k is equals to 64 multiplied by 4 and multiplied by 5, not 4. Uh, we have 5 divided by 4 and that will give you k is equals to 80. Now the equation connecting the x, y and z that is the equation it means x is equals to uh, 80 the square root of y divided by the fourth root of z. So that is the equation connecting x, y, and now, z. Find the value of z when y is equal to 36 and x is equal to 164. So already we have established the formula connecting x, y, and z, and that is x is equal to 80, the square root of y, that's y, divided by the fourth root of z. Now, if we are told that uh, y is 36 and x is 160, so we just substitute 160 is equals to 80 multiplied by the square root of 36. You divide by the fourth root of fourth root of z. Now, when you multiply that, you will say that uh, the fourth root of the fourth root of z. That's the fourth root is equals to uh, we say it's 80 multiplied by this is 36 the square root of 36 is 6 divided by 160 uh, so this div 8 divide 1 by 60 you get 2 you get uh, 1 uh, 2 divide 6 divided by 2 you get 3 so z which we can fourth root can be written as uh, as a z to power a quarter is the same as fourth root is equals to three. So to get rid of the power, we multiply, we fact, okay, we raise the power by four for both sides. So you find now when you open uh, the rows of indices, then it will be z a quarter. You open the bracket, multiply by four is equals to 3 to power 4 is 81. 
3 to power 4 is 81. So this 4 disappears, oh, and then we have z is equals to 81. And that's the correct value. You earn yourself uh, 2 marks. Uh, this is supposed to be 2 marks. Now, part C of the question, we have find a percentage change in x when y is increased by 44%. Now here we can say if y is increased by by 44%, what it means is our new y, that is y prime, is equals to 44% will be 1.44 of the old y. And therefore, our new x, which is x prime, is equals to k, the square root of our new y divide by the fourth root of z now our new y then we have our x new x is equals to k uh, then we have one uh, the square root of our our new y which is 1.44 the old y divide by the fourth root of z. Now, this one, you get the square root of 1.44 uh, is equals to 1.2, so it will be 1.2k, the square root of y, divided by the fourth root of z. That is the fourth root. Now, if you look at uh, what we have now, this is the same as the old x, eh? and this is our new x. So what it means is that our new x has increased, uh, our new x is equals to uh, 1 point, uh, that is 1.2 our old x. This means that x implying x increases by 20% when x is increased, when y is increased by 44%. And that is the answer to that question. So that brings us to the end of this question. Uh, subscribe to Teacher Wamta YouTube channel. You'll be able to see so many other videos that I'm going to post very soon. Uh, including now real lessons that you cover in class. Thank you for watching.